What's up guys and welcome back to our YouTube channel once again. So in today's video I have this 208cc gas engine with electric start. The company I got this from is called ProPoint. I bought this for $199 at Prince's Auto. This engine it has uh, 7 horsepowers. It has a 3 quarter inch diameter keyed shaft. It comes with a keyway. So let's go ahead, unbox this thing and put some oil and gas. And let's run it for the first time ever. There we go. Wow, this is a lot bigger than I thought it would be. Wow, it's pretty amazing. Let's see something else we have in the box. We have our this metal rod, and that's about it for the box. So this is our engine out of the box. The nice metal finish, the muffler on the back, the air filter and the carburetor, the oil tank, and the battery. There's a couple of wires here I'm going to have to understand when I read the manual. So let me go ahead and do that. The shaft is a three-quarter shaft. Same as the clutch I'm going to get. And it comes with the key stock inside. Let me go ahead and take this off. It doesn't look as big as it is in the camera. But trust me, from out here, it looks really big. This is what the engine looks from the front. We've got our pull to start. We've got our key. And we also got our throttle set up up here. The choke and the gas is located over here. Before, this throttle wasn't working. It was just locked up and I didn't know what was really wrong. And I figured out this nut over here. Since I loosened it, it changed up the tension a bit. So now when I pull it, it returns. That's pretty good. But I'm still gonna add some sort of spring here to still make it a little more better. To do this, I had to take the air filter off and uh, take the cap off. It has these two lock nuts on and I'm gonna have to reassemble it. But now I think I'm ready to go ahead put some oil and some fuel. I started for the first ever run. So let's get straight into this. Alright guys so right now I'm gonna go ahead put oil and some gas in here and we're gonna start it up. I brought this into my garage because I don't want to turn it on inside my basement. Alright guys so now I'm gonna put oil in here. This is the area where you put oil. Let's take the cap off. So this is how you're going to measure if you have enough oil. It should be touching this stick somewhere. And let me get the oil. The oil I'm using is SAE 10W30. This is, for, this is meant for four cycle OHV engines, just like this one. So this is the oil you're going to need. funnel is extremely small so that's not good but it's gonna get filled pretty soon all right guys so I got all the oil in it cleaning up the little spill and I'm gonna go ahead and put some gas into the engine my oil doesn't have that thing the yellow thing that you can put in so I'm gonna go ahead and first put oil in this broken water bottle without a cap and then I'll use this to put it in there slowly. So let me go ahead and start pulling this to let it run. I think it's going to take at least three tries to turn it on. It's moving quite a bit. That's how you turn it off. You move the key to off. Okay, let me start it up again. Okay 
guys, I'm gonna have to put some bricks around it so it doesn't vibrate because it's moving quite a bit. And yeah, I'm gonna have to secure it before I let it break in. The breaking period usually is about three hours of running. So I'm gonna try to run it for an hour, an hour and a half, just on idle. And then after that, I'm gonna move the throttle halfway or a little less than half and let that run for another hour. So let me go ahead and do all that. And I'll show you that. All right guys, I got it to run. It's extremely loud. Now let's wait a few hours and I'll show you guys once I have the throttle and everything working on properly. Alright guys, so the braking period is over. I got this thing to run a couple of times after that too. So I just want to show you one last time. The throttle also works properly. I'll give you one final look on that and then we'll end this video. So I'm going to turn the gas on. So I'm going to start the engine. Turn the fuel on. Turn the fuel on. The choke is off, and let's turn this on. Right now it's on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put some throttle. And that's about it. As you can see, the engine worked fine. But that's it for this week's video. If you guys enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe.